No one really uses pay phones anymore, but there are still plenty of them all around everywhere you look. And it looks like someone may have figured out how to cash in on them. Fox's Stacy Delacat takes a look. She's in Chelsea right now. Hello, Stacy. Well, Steve and Dara, you'd have no idea just from walking by one of these regular old New York City pay phones, but inside hundreds of them are tiny Bluetooth pinging devices that were put there about a year ago by an advertising company. Now, that company got the city's permission to test out the technology. The problem is the city never notified New Yorkers it would be in use all over Manhattan. These pay phones look like any others in New York City, but behind the slick advertisements on 500 of them are tiny Bluetooth pinging devices called beacons. The city gave advertising company Titan the green light to install them last year. Beacons are usually a Bluetooth-enabled chip uh, embedded in a retail location that can communicate with a smartphone's app to give you things like coupons or, or even uh, record where you are in the store. So Jill Shaw is a reporter for Laptop Magazine who has written about the beacons, which are made by a company named Gimbal. Only people who have downloaded and installed a Gimbal-enabled app and given that app permission to interact with beacons will be tracked by these apps. The thought is that beacons in public places could be used to deliver advertisements to smartphones phones based on people's locations if the person has opted in. The problem is the city never notified the public the beacons were being installed, raising serious privacy concerns from groups like the New York Civil Liberties Union. Uh, irresponsible, I think, for a kind of program like this to be undertaken without any transparency whatsoever. I think people are a little bit creeped out by the notion that some private entity has the blessing of the city to collect who knows what for how long accessible to who knows who. Titan tells us they installed the devices just to test out the technology and said in a statement, quote, gimbal proximity beacons do not collect user data or information. They do not send or push content, nor do they track people. But after the website BuzzFeed first reported on the presence of the beacons, the city told Titan to pull them immediately, with the mayor's office telling us, quote, while the beacons Titan installed in some of its phones for testing purposes are incapable of receiving or collecting any personally identifiable information, we have asked Titan to remove them from their phones. Well, the city says these beacons will be removed in the coming days, but you can expect to probably hear and see more about them in the near future. That's because a lot of private entities, some stores like GameStop, the video game store, and some stadiums across the country, they already use this technology to reach their customers by Bluetooth pinging. Live in Chelsea, Stacey Delacat, Fox 5 News. Darian, Steve, no back to you. No privacy anywhere, Stacey, anymore. Thank you.